Okay, hello, welcome to um, a video, the first video being recorded in a different country. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I am, uh, not because I think anyone would try to find me, probably just a good habit to have basic privacy principles in place. And I could get interrupted at any moment, and I don't even know if I can be heard on, I think I can almost definitely be heard um, around the house. Um, we'll see. Anyway, um, this is the season five trailer uh, reaction and breakdown. Um, so I'm waiting for the premiere. There's about five minutes to go. I'm not going to wait the entire time. I probably will cut. I might have to cut because who knows? I might get interrupted and have to tell people to uh, leave me alone. If the audio quality is different or God knows even better, don't get used to it. It's not how it's going to stay. It's only while I'm on holiday. I don't know how many videos I'm going to be recording while I'm here. Probably not very many. Um, I'll sort of try and get into that afterwards, I suppose. I think right before the trailer starts, obviously this isn't a live thing. I don't think predictions really make sense. But I want to quickly run through everything that we know is in Season 5. Because Ghost Ship seem to somehow be teasing more. Um, even though we know a bit more, right? So from the stream that they did last Friday, we do know a couple of things that we didn't know before, such as the new secondary objectives. So season five, what do we know that is in it? Well, um, so there's a DLC, obviously, but that had its own trailer. So that's not really going to be mentioned in this, I, I would assume. Everything else, though, obvious stuff. New performance pass, new cosmetic tree. Um, and uh, so big stuff. New mission type. Um, two new anomalies, two new mutators, two new secondary objectives. Um about to get interrupted actually no not if the mic doesn't work yeah anyway i think we're safe now um i don't know how long i need probably 20 minutes at most i didn't actually say how long i would need um so yeah so 12 new overclocks plus one reworked overclock um the promotion tracker the hazard 5 plus system which i forget about far too often even though it's like one of the most important things and one of the most just awesome things uh four new enemies one of them is clearly a more seasonal enemy in the form of the hoxie's crawler we don't actually know if it's called that or not new season event which is um the core stone uh 20 plus new cave shape 20 plus new player affliction overlays um <laughs> new dance moves um is that everything so my dad's currently looking at me through the window which is awesome <laughs> i knew that something like this would happen um there'll be a tad unprofessional i think i just listed off everything that's in season five. Oh, i guess you know three new maintenance paint jobs weapon maintenance paint jobs um new unseasoned cosmetics so there's new stuff in the other loot pools that aren't the performance pass or the cosmetic tree obviously the season reactivation feature as well which is obviously what's actually quite a big feature um that they talked about um, but i also keep forgetting about but that's mainly because it doesn't really pertain to me that much anyway that's basically everything. Um, so if there's some, and it's a lot, by the way. It is like, I, I don't know, maybe not years worth of work. Obviously, it's not. They did this in about five months with some leftovers of the overclocks that were prototypes from uh, season one. Um, but that is pretty much everything. So if there is somehow more, I mean, good lord, I, I don't think I missed anything there. Um, We'll see in a minute let's skip to the trailer okay so got about a minute go don't worry the sound will come on when i actually when it starts they said to be the longest hello there it is this mic's a little bit see i apologize for the order being a little bit fucky up to this point. Hopefully it should stay for now. Anyway, let's just watch this trailer. And I will probably comment throughout, but it's mainly going to be afterwards. So, I'll put a timestamp in. Hello miners, welcome back. Another DRG update is coming in, hot off the presses. This is Season 5, Drilling Deeper. Let's get right into it. With the Rock Pucks threat neutralized, management has once again turned their attention to their main objective, profit. And our analyses show that there are even greater riches to claim near Hoxie's core. Oh, there's the updated Morkite Geo. we're expanding our range of operations with the new deep scan missions. 
Hunt down resonance crystals hidden in the caves. Then call down resonance scanners and get them hooked up. These scans will pinpoint the position of your final target, a dazzling Morkite geode. You'll need the brand new Drillivator to take you all the way down there. Keep local wildlife off the drill platform, maintain the machinery, and stay alive. We need you in one piece when you get down to the Morkite geode. So you can collect the precious Morkite seeds. But the sound effects are really top tier. Oh, the seeds then are like little. Some jet boots and blast back up for extraction. Jet boots mark two. Should be just as easy as it sounds. Mm-hmm. We've also received reports of there a strange is. new discovery. Core stones. These mysterious mineral amount oh, what is it that, what is that doing? sprouting seemingly at random throughout Huxies. <laughs> Management wants their hands on them, but be forewarned. Disturbing oh, the it's literally like a rift. To attract a new type of hyper-aggressive creature, and there are no glyphids. We think they may come from deeper down yeah. in the seas. Yeah, so it's like a portal to Formerly dubbed deeper below. Spawn crawlers, these mysterious fiends should not that be didn't, underestimated. That You'll didn't look like them without the new framework. It looked something else. Alive. Mind oh, yourselves on this one, so that's the thing that we saw in the space rig during the stream last week. crawler wasn't enough, We've observed a few other new threats down in the caves. The Glyphid Stalker is a cunning new mm -hmm. Glyphid variant. This one is capable of cloaking to near invisibility, burrowing for rapid repositioning, and launching ambush attacks that temporarily disable your shields. If you suspect a Stalker is afoot, group up, watch each other's backs. I think the length of this trailer is coming from the fact they're just explaining everything the in Vatos full. The Scale Bramble is an invasive plant species. Oh, there's the length of kicking in. acid spitting core and an array of sensory feeler nodules. You'll need to take out the nodules to make the deadly core vulnerable. Then mm -hmm. there's a new variant of the Infector species, the Barrage Infector. This one's bigger and tougher than its spitballer cousin and fires a devastating salvo of explosive bile. Aim for the sack and watch out for splash damage. On the subject of new challenges, some ambitious miners have been requesting yeah, a greater level five of plus. difficulty for a while, <laughs> and the Dream company has delivered one. with Hazard 5 Plus. We now mm -hmm. offer seasoned employees the opportunity to unlock adjustable Hazard 5 modifiers, allowing you to boost the aggression and toughness of enemy 3% per is the number of them, and even your own vulnerability to damage. Why would anyone want this? Why? To bring home a bigger paycheck, of course. It's a win-win for Not you much and bigger. the company, unless Huxies eats you alive. Mm -hmm. Now, to further motivate you in your work, we've got a brand new performance pass for Season 5. With loads of new cosmetics and resources to earn, this new performance pass comes with the usual 100 that. levels of rewards and a cosmetic tree full of other goodies that you can unlock with Scrip. Free of charge, as always. On the subject of seasons, we're also adding the ability to reactivate and play through any existing season's content whenever you like. Enabling a season gives you access to the full performance pass and the of that three. season, allowing you a direct path to any past unlocks you might have missed. Any items from these seasons you might already have unlocked will be paid out as cash prizes on the performance pass instead. And should you feel like it, you can simply turn off season content entirely for that original unseasoned DRG experience. Should also be noted, while past seasons rewards are moving out of the cosmetic cores, cargo crate and lost pack loot pools, we've got some brand new goodies going in there to give you more to look forward to. Skin recovered. Now, Danger dice. We're expanding so that's technically a framework, but what is it? One for each primary weapon. Yep. If loud and imprecise is your style, rocket. there we go. It's being used exactly how I expected it to be. New cluster munitions, the Warthog shotgun's new pump action mode, or the new firewall function for the CRISPR flamethrower. Is that the new framework as well? If you prefer team support and position, you might try the burst fire module for the GK2 rifle, the Voltaic SMG's spread limiting hyper alloy assembly, or the M1000 Classics mm -hmm. brand new marked for death darts. Oh, on yeah. top of those, we've got plenty of options in the middle to cater to every taste. We expect this should offer some exciting new self-defense options while you're hard at work. <laughs> Speaking of hard at work, we've logged some new anomalies in the caves, oh, yeah. which may add a bit of twist to Blood your sugar. assignments. Yep. Blood sugar fills the caves with <laughs> gonna explain everything. constantly drains your health. But luckily, 
It also makes old bugs drop Brit sugar death. In other mm -hmm. words, kill to survive. Duck and cover adds Good extra duck and cover. Huxies' projectile shooting enemies to the caves. It's gonna be Bar, horrible. Leave, dodge, and return fire. Imagine this with aggressive Ebonite enemies. Uh, enemy aggression. Fills yes. Fills the caves with ebonite infected glyvids only susceptible to melee damage. It's time to get cracked. Yep, Molly's shooting out the... Secret secondary yep. does just what it says. Instead of one, you get two optional secondary objectives for an even fatter paycheck. And relatedly, we're adding some brand new secondary. Yeah, boy. To management needs your help exterminating the invasive bar barnacles and to smash the occasional so crunch of glyphid eggs before they hatch just into a bigger eggs. problem. But they're smaller. There's a lot more to reveal, but management says to speed it up. So, quick fire round. With season five, there a lot also more? look forward to yeah. an unlimited promotion counter to really show off yes, your prof. experience in the mines. New cosmetic filtering options mm -hmm. to help organize your growing wardrobe, as well as some new skin tone variations. Oh my! Really look your Whoa! True self. Okay, Three we'll get to that. Three new dance moves. <laughs> we trust you will um, use them responsibly. That's Three awful. new levels of new weapon paint mm -hmm. jobs to earn through weapon maintenance. I like that armor paint job. Twenty new cave formations to add new depths and variation to every mission, and of course, a ton of under the hood optimizations. And so it is a dice. That is what usual. is that? Also, that We've skin is awesome. For DLSS three, for the frames. And finally, oh, they are the DLC no in the trailer. No season is complete without a new DLC pack up for sale. This one grants you the armor of the Order of the Deep, a venerated dwarving mining guild. It's your turn to represent this mighty guild, as generations of greybeards have done before you. Let your pickaxe pierce with the order's might and claim the deep for rock and stone. That just about covers it, I think. We've worked hard on this one, and I'm mighty happy Tell. about the result. Welcome back, miners, to Season 5, Drilling Deeper. This is Mission Control, signing off. Rock and stone. God, did they actually... I'll have to check for the crawling name. All aboard the drill -evator. Oh, it's a drill and an elevator. <laughs> I get it now. Yep. Releasing on June 13th. Which is a day after I get back from holiday. So now what we're going to do is go back through and I'm going to pick out the things that I didn't expect necessarily. Um, there's a lot of stuff we already knew. We know how, you know, we know how uh, deep scan works, the mission type. Um, first of all, uh, very happy, obviously, but we knew almost all of this, but all of the stuff that I wasn't quite sure about is also um, very nice. So I'm just going to try and... So the Morka Geode. So we originally saw screenshots of this pretty unfinished compared to what we're seeing here. It looks much nicer, much more colourful. But obviously I want to speed this up. I might actually have to record the patch notes as well after this. So we'll see. So yeah, this is the updated Morka Geode. Looks really nice. Um, all of this stuff we kind of know. Um, I want to get to the event. We go. Discovery, core stones. So it looks like you just dig it out and then mineral amalgamations have begun the, the thing floats up and sprouting seemingly at random throughout Huxies. And creates rifts. Because so obviously, you know, it's theorized that the creatures are coming from deeper below, but it's still creating portals that they're coming through. <laughs> Management wants their hands on them, but be forewarned. Disturbing love the effects on that. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to see more stuff like this in Rogue Call. I also assume that this is basically just a combat encounter that will utilize the new music that he talked about, by the way, but they didn't mention in here. Um, so you, you just can mine the core stone and it will begin this combat encounter where you just kill them all. And then when you're done, you can deposit the, the weird thing that was in the core stone. Um, and the core stones seem to attract a new type of hyper-aggressive creature. And there are no glyphids. We think they may come from deeper down in Huxies. Formerly dubbed Core Spawn Crawlers. Core Spawn Crawlers. Core Spawn is a good name for a new sort of These mysterious action, I suppose. Be underestimated. You'll need to dispatch them without hesitation if you want to make it home alive. Let's see this machine which we saw in the stream last week, uh, which we didn't know what it was, um, and it's just a thing that you have to put the core... I don't know when this arrives. I guess after the combat encounter? I don't know. We'll see. Mind yourself Doesn't really matter. One, but I was right. I think I actually did say and it might be that. crawler wasn't enough, we've obs Yep, Stalker, if we understand the Stalker. Rapid reposition. If you suspect a Stalker is a... Acid spit. So, Vartok Scale Bramble 
we know how it works, but we didn't know exactly how far the um, weak points could be from the thing itself. Also, from what we saw, it was only uh, three. This one actually has four, and they're stretching quite far away. So this gives you a good idea of how this thing can actually be. Um, Scale Bramble is an invasive plant. Sensory feel or not, you. Factor. Salvo. Greater level of difficulty. Right, so there's not much to glean from this. I don't think it tells us anything about uh, how much they increase the factors that they're touching. But with Hazard 5 Plus, we now offer seasoned employees the opportunity to unlock adjustable Hazard 5 modifiers, allowing you to boost the aggression. So, yeah, as we can see, enemies move faster, attack more frequently, and shoot faster projectiles. But the only thing that we know numbers wise is that it adds 3%. To the hazard bonus. And toughness of enemies, the number of them, and even your own vulnerability to for all of them. Damage. Why would anyone want this? Why to bring home a bigger paycheck? Oh, sorry. Hold on. To damage. Why enemies? The number of them, and even your own. So more enemies and aggressive enemies only had three percent each. Vulnerability to damage. But Why tough would enemies. Want this? Why to and player vulnerability add five percent each. So that's ten percent and six percent, six percent. So that's 20 32 percent in total you can add bring home a bigger paycheck of course it's a win-win for you and the company unless huxies eats you alive now to first with low hundred levels of all right hold on um okay so this is what i wanted to look at that challenge is that just a random warning oh it's double warnings oh they're incentivizing playing double warnings i thought i remember them saying something like they wouldn't really want to uh, tinker with the season challenges too much but that seems to have been a lie because a challenge that incentivizes doing double warnings is awesome okay so the pass itself i'm going to slow it right down for this um and mute it as well so we got eyebrows some weird hair a welding helmet which already exists i'm not sure about the welding helmet it's a bit confusing part of the pickaxe set those weird bug eyes that move a bucket hat um a pickaxe, handle, a beard, a victory move. Um, where are the paint jobs? I mean, there's a Bosco paint job there. A really horrible looking strange moustache, pickaxe head. Um, armor paint job. Some headgear, I really can't tell what that is. A weapon paint job there. Uh, sorry, I should be using the mouse, not pointing with my finger. Um, more hair, pickaxe paint job, sideburns. A strange new mohawk hair color that looks fairly basic i'm not worried about that though because i've because i've seen um the skin colors uh weapon paint job a really cool looking helmet a weird hat i think that's a uniform hat i can't tell but it's got a ponytail at the back um a goatee i think at level 69 another weird head here yeah. armor paint job um a really cool looking beard face mask that'll go in the beard slot but it's like a face mask um, some weird, like, half-shaven hair. Pickaxe pommel. Okay, that's all we saw. Um, and a little bit of a helmet on the next slide. So let's go back up to normal playback speed. Rewards and... As always. Play through any existing... That you got um, cosmetic tree. So it's just, it's mainly just a framework. We've got a, And there'll be a weapon paint job and an armor paint job for all the classes spread throughout. As well as some other little things. So that's what there is to it. Free of reacting a season. Let's just get to unseasoned. Path to any past unlocks you might lay down as turn off season. Cause cargo, mm. cargo crate and lost pack loot pools. We've got some brand new goodies going in there. So, yeah, we've got a new frame of danger dice that hang off your weapons, but the paint job is what I was focusing on that looked really, really cool. Yeah, to give you more um, to look forward to. Now, let's talk weaponry. We're expanding your arsenal with 12 new over so we know the overclocks pretty well mode or the new firewall function but i will say hold on this so this framework for the flamethrower is unfamiliar to me mode or the new firewall it might just be mechanized i'm not sure function for the crisper flamethrower it could be the dice one we don't know if you prefer team support and position you might try the burst fire alloy assembly so this is the stubby overclock that we haven't been shown yet. We actually got showed the reworked one, um, which is the one that lets you electrocute platforms. This is actually a precision-based one. I think it adds accuracy and weak point damage, but 
increases recoil. Um, rifle, the Volte SMG's spread limiting hyper alloy assembly, the M1. It looks simplistic, but effective, which is kind of what I really want. The other, the reworked stubby overclock looks far more interesting, and that's kind of what counts. Awesome classics, brand new marked for death darts. Speaking of hard at work, we've lost. So all of this stuff it we kind of know, you know, blood sugar works, you constantly die, but enemies drop red sugar, duck and cover adds more ranged We've enemies. Fills the caves with ebonite infected right. livids, ebonite outbreak. To melee damage. It's time to get cracked. Simple, molly spews out pickaxe power-ups, it, that's it. Secret secondary does just what it says. Instead of one, you get two optional secondary objectives for an even f I do think secret secondary is the reason why we suspected there might be more secondary objectives and fatter paycheck. And relatedly, we're adding some brand new secondaries too. Management needs your help exterminating the invasive bar barnacles. So from what I can tell, the bar barnacles are very simplistic. They're sort of like, um, they're almost like young seeds really, except we don't have to deposit them. But what I've noticed is that, um, there's actually variable quotas between missions for them from the stream last week. It looked like there was a different amount on different missions, um, which might actually be the gimmick of the barnacles. Um, and to smash the occasional clutch of glyphid eggs before they hatch into a bigger problem. So the glyphid eggs look extremely simple. Um, doesn't look like they will release swarmers at all. Um, but I have no issue with that. It's really just a large amount spread throughout the cat. I saw the quota was um, the quota for the Glyphid eggs is actually 40. So it's really just having a large amount spread throughout the cave, I assume. Um. There's a lot more to reveal, but management says to speed it up. So, quick fire round. With Season 5, you can also look forward to an unlimited promotion counter to really show off your experience in the mines. New cosmetic filtering options. So we've seen the cosmetic filters as well. I don't think anything's changed from last time. To help organize yourself. Oh, Three there it is. Sorry, I actually forgot about this. So skin colors, um, new ones. Uh, that's new, because that's the original blue one. So that's new, that's new, that's new, that's new. At least one of those is new. That's new as well. And so that, I think that's it. So it's a really deep red. Really look your true self. Rager. Three delightful new dance goblin. moves. There you Trust go. You will, uh, to earn through terrible weapon maintenance. dance moves. Uh, yeah, so... Hold on. Three new levels of new weapon paint jobs to earn... Yeah, they're decent. I like, um, I like them. They're not crazy. I really like that arm paint job, though. Um, through weapon maintenance assignments. Twenty new cave formations to add... I can't tell any major differences from new these images. New variation to every mission. And of course, a ton of under-the-hood optimization. So there's the new... Framework. Also, there we can see um, the what that button does in the weapon terminal. This basically just hides all the crap you don't want. So, but it still lets you customize, which is perfect for me. Um, so, this framework looks like it just adds the dice, but also has a sick framework attached to it, which is really annoying. Um, I want that a sick paint job attached to it. I should say I want the paint job more than the framework, but I don't mind having the dice. You know, represent represent ghost ship. It's basically just like you know, if you want to run the default framework. Why not just run this one? Um, and bug fixing has been going on. No new loadout slots, guys. There's no excuse. As usual, we've even added support for DLSS three for the frames. And that you're happy about the result. All right, I think that's going to be it. I definitely want to wrap this up just in case I do need to do um patch notes video. So far, doesn't look like it. If I do, it's going to have to be at a later date. Um, experimental info. Mm. Mm. I really hope I can access it. Because if I can't, then I'm kind of buggered. Not access the experimental branch itself, I really just mean the information. Either way, that's everything that I could see that was worth noting about the Season 5 trailer that we didn't really know before. Um, good trailer too, and it's going to be a fantastic season. So I need to get back to being 
get back to the fact that I'm on holiday. Um, so there might be another video at some point over the next week, but also maybe not. I might have to do the patch notes more around the time that the season actually releases, which isn't a terrible idea. Anyway, uh, 